Okay guys, today I'm going to show you how to run a related samples t-test or a paired samples t-test. There's several names for it in SPSS. Now I already have data entered and t today we're just going to focus on these two variables right here. The we Again, I, if you've watched previous videos you'll know that I, I'm using the Harry Potter data set and here we have an OWL practice test and then OWL exam score. Now this is just like an I-step test or something like that. Now let's say that we want to see we want to see if these groups differ because this practice test was before these students were given a specific study guide to work with. So we basically want to see if the study guide helped them. So they they take the practice test or the, the you know pre-test, and then they get tested again after they've had the study time with the study guide. So their their final exam score. Now all we have to do is go to analyze, compare means because that's what we're doing again, comparing means paired samples t-test this time, paired samples t-test. Now this little box pops up, it's different than the, the other types of t-test so far. So we want to enter our practice test as variable 1 because it comes first. And variable 2 we're going to enter as our exam score, our OWL, OWL exam score. And then all we have to do here is click OK and you'll get results that pop up like this. Now again we have our means and standard deviations up here. This is something that's, that's additional. It runs to make sure that these two these two variables are correlated and they are. That's the signal they get. Now this is what we are mostly worried about down here to see if these these groups are different. You have your t-test. Now here your t is negative 8.258. Degrees of freedom are 39 and this is significant. This, your p-value here, SPSS says 0 .000 but you cannot have a p-value of 0 you can interpret this as p is less than 0 .001. That's the best you can do. So in this case we can say we can reject our null hypothesis. Our, our null hypothesis was that these groups were the same, right? So our, um, our practice test and um, post test were equivalent or pretty much the same. Now we can reject that and say that they're different. And we can look up here at our means and say that students scored better on the actual exam than they did the practice test. So our study guide helped raise their scores. This is the interpretation we can get from this because our p-value here when comparing these two groups is significant.